back to school. It's time to get your backpacks ready and your pencil cases and all your best number two pencils or whatever you use because it's time to go back to school. Yes. So uh, for all of you who are translators uh, or are trying to become translators, trying to become freelance translators, there's construction going on somewhere close by in this building and it's kind of annoying. Hopefully it doesn't detract too much from this video. Anyway, now it's we're getting toward the end of summer and which means people are going back to school. They're getting ready to go back to school and they're finishing up all the last minute stuff. And I usually find this a great time for certain types of translations, i.e. this is a great time for school transcripts, for uh, certificates, for driver's license even, and identification, stuff like that. Because what's happening is people are entering their, nurse, their new school and they find out that they don't have all the information they need, especially if they're going abroad to a new country they realize, oh, I have my driver's license or birth certificate or identification from my old country, but I need it translated. Likewise, they might have a transcript of their, their school transcript of their old grades and everything and realize they need that translated into the language. Other forms of identification or certificates or stuff like that. These small types of translations that people need translated, this is the season for them. And uh, so, what I recommend usually that I think is a good idea during this time is wherever you have your profile or the list of services that you provide, try to add something along those lines to it. Certificates, identification, uh, school transcripts even, be as precise as you want with that. But stuff along those lines and uh, make yourself available for these because what you can find is that uh, you'll be able to translate these. If you're first starting out, um, you can translate these. You won't earn very much money, I'm sorry, but what you can do is use these for references and, um, and to build up your portfolio for the future. Now, if you do have experience, then what you can do so sometimes is usually at this point, you you're sort of have a minimum for which you'll get a job done. And whatever that minimum might be, that's usually what you'll end up charging for these transcripts. A lot of people, by the way, don't like translating transcripts or these short translations because they say it's not worth their time. And by and large, that can be true because many times, you know, you have to deal with the client, you have to receive the new thing, you have to translate it for them, you have to send it back, and you're not gonna make all that much for say a driver's license because it's not many words to be translated. However, and I don't recommend this if you're first starting out, but if you've already been translating for a bit, you can charge a minimum for this. Obviously the minimum can't be too outrageous, but you can have a minimum of whatever it might be, 30 bucks, maybe 50 bucks even, something like that. Um, again, depends how much relevant experience you have. And then anyway, you can charge this minimum for each uh, driver's license and it sort of makes it a bit more worth it. Um, but if you're first starting out, I would advise not charging a minimum because first of all, you can't really justify it if you're first starting out to have this minimum. Second of all, it'll be good for you because you can actually get jobs because a lot of people don't want to pay 30 or 50 bucks just to have one driver's license translated. So you'll get the jobs that other people won't get for having that higher minimum, right? So you're going to do something and maybe you'll just get 12 bucks out of it. But if you can get a referral or rating from that and you can add it to your portfolio, then you're making, once again, and I've said this pretty much every other video that I make, but you can use this as leverage for future jobs. And so it can be very good. So anyway, I would advise all of you to add this to your profile, to the list of services that you offer, add anything having to do with going to a new school, transcript tran translation, translations of certificates, of driver's licenses, of IDs, of whatever it might be, grades, you know, anything along those lines, because as I said, tis the season. So yeah, that was it, just a short, quick announcement because we're getting into the season of school and so I thought uh, this could be useful to a few of you and hopefully you do find it useful. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click like, don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button and all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks, bye. Savedum.